So, where do you come from, Marion? I come from a seaside town in Brittany. My parents have a small but successful fish farm. They wanted me to work for them, but I have other plans. I'm on a mission to become a sophisticated style journalist. Gosh, I would hate to see her hopes crushed. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but I better get going now. It was great meeting you, Nostalgia. I hope we do this again. Walk home? Together? Sure. Me too. Good luck with the job and see you around. Phew, she left just in time. My phone's ringing. It's Louise. Hi, Nostalgia. You don't mind me calling you Nostalgia, do you? She's being nice. That has to be a good sign, right? Nope, I think she's calling to reject me. I have some great news. We're not hiring you, so I never have to see you again. Have a nice flight home, Shetty. Wow, that woman is really the devil dressed in Prada. I'll bounce back from this. I'm going to get even. I better pack my bags. I'll bounce back from this. Dude, I'm not going to arrive in Paris just to fucking leave, like, the next day. I'll at least stay here. Like, maybe a month. Like, I'll crash with my friend for a month and be like, yo, listen, I'm sorry. It didn't pan out this way. Let me search for another job. If I'm not out of your hair by a month, then I will leave. I'm not going to let this get me down. Brace yourself, Paris. We're in for a long, exciting ride. But first, I'm going to get a hot bath and a hug from Kat. Let's go home. I still have no idea how much energy I have, honestly. Oh, I could have looked around, couldn't I? Whoops. Oh, well, it is what it is. Home. Nostalgia. How did it go? Tell me everything. Terrible. I didn't get the job. I'm so sorry, Nostalgia, but you can't just give up now. There are tons of magazines in Paris. Any editor in their right mind would hire you. You know, you may have a point. Raphael seemed really keen on hiring me. I bet that Louise. Wait, you actually met the Raphael Laurent? What's he like in real life? Don't spare the details. He's sweet, he's weird, he's a total pushover. He's sweet. He was nice to me. He's sweet, but really strange. <laughs> yeah, people say he's a little intense. Well, I know this might not be the right time, but something incredible happened to me today. I was at the library doing research for my history PhD when I noticed this cute guy looking at me. I pretended I hadn't noticed, but I was shaking inside. Then, all of a sudden, he came up to me and asked me my name. Isn't that crazy romantic? Uh, not really. Yes, that's so cute. Sure. I'm not going to discourage her. I'm happy for her. That's really cute. What happened next? <laughs> Catherine liked that. Good. Shouldn't be hating on her just because I had a bad day. He told me he'd been mesmerized by me all afternoon. And that he'd like to get to know me. Then he mentioned the bar he'd be hanging out in tonight. What should I do? Isn't it obvious? Go there and get to know him better. Are you crazy? I'm far too shy to go to a bar by myself. Don't worry. I'll come with you, Kat. You can count on me. So are we not going to eat ice cream and watch 90s movies? <laughs> it's so good to have you here. I missed my wing woman. Hey, Raphael. Raphael Laurent? What is he calling me for? Hello, Miss Princess. I need to see you immediately. Now? But why? I, I didn't get the job. I didn't want you for that culture call in this position. The interview was just my way of getting you to Paris. Meet me at the Arc de Triomphe, and please hurry. What was that all about? What was that all about? Raphael wants me to meet him right now. <sighs> oh, I see. I guess I'll go to the bar by myself then. No, well, fuck it. I'm gonna go with Kat. I'm, she's letting me live here, so I'll just go with her. I'll meet Raphael some other day. 
or, you know, next time, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to play this. It's already gone in so many different directions. Heck no. I'm not just going to draw my best friend like that. Whatever Raphael wants can wait. Lead the way, cat. <laughs> you better be fucking nice to me. You're the best. The bar is in Montmartre. Let's go. Let's go to Montmartre. Look at this. My new home. It means so much to me. How much energy do I have? How do I find out? Like, I can't tell if it's, like, maybe in the corner or something, and I'm just not seeing it because that's, like, what my... Oh, where I'm on Mars, sorry. Like, maybe it's being covered by my... Whatever. Anyway, this is the place. Thank you so much for coming, Nostalgia. Don't mention it. Now, if you want my advice, just pretend you're here on a girl's night out. And if you see him, act surprised. That seems stupid. Why would I do that? I only came here to see him. I know, Kat, but you've got to play it cool. Oh, I see. If I look desperate, he'll freak out, right? He said he'd be here. Unless, wait, hold on. Now, I'm, am I remembering wrong? Did he invite her to come here? Or did was he just like, oh, so this is the bar that I'm going to be at today? I don't fucking know anymore. Yeah, you have to let him do his fair share of the work. He came up to her. Ugh, these dating games are so complicated. Okay, just be yourself then. You have to play the game. Just be yourself. Games are fucking stupid, guys. Why? Why do you play games? You're right. You're great. So just be yourself. <laughs> Catherine liked that. Thank you, Nostalgia. You always know how to boost my confidence. I'll wait till you see this guy. He's just so perfect for me. I hope you're right, Kat. I just want you to be happy. Have you dated anyone since you got here? Well, I've met a couple of guys. But none of them were my soulmate. Oh, sweet mother of croissants. She's hopeless. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why am I an asshole? This guy is special, though. Uh, oh, I don't know what I'll do if he doesn't show up. Don't worry, he'll show up. You'll find someone else. Um... Don't worry, he'll show up. I guess. Oh, I'm out of energy. That's sad. You're right. You're great. So, oh, that's me. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoops, I lost track of what I was doing. You're right. You're great. So, just be yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Nostalgia. You always know how to boost my confidence. Wait till you see this guy. He's just so perfect for me. I hope you're right, Kat. I just want you to be happy. Have you dated anyone since you got here? Well, I've met a couple of guys. But none of them were my soulmate. Oh, sweet mother of croissants. She's hopeless. This guy is special, though. Oh, I don't know what I'll do if he doesn't show up. Don't worry, he'll show up. You'll find someone else. Let's do, don't worry, he'll show up. Don't worry, he'll show up. He said he'd be here, right? He really thinks so? I'm sure of it. Today's going to be a lucky day for us both. I kind of wish that we actually went to our job interview, to be honest. I get so down when I think of all my missed chances in love. And I'm feeling really down if I lose my chance at a job here. Well, you can forget about them now. This is a new chapter. I feel so old, Nostalgia. I feel like I'm missing out on life. If I don't meet someone soon, I'll spend my life alone. Girl, I feel you. Cat, that's crazy talk. I'll never be loved. I'll have to get hundreds of cats. Okay, stop this right now or you'll really freak him out. Some actions can only be achieved if the character likes you enough. Okay, stop this right now or you'll really freak him out. Try to lighten the mood or give Kat some space. Let's try to lighten the mood. I think she likes me enough. I know something that will make you smile. <laughs> Success. Catherine likes you a lot. That's good. Enough. What's that? 
A toast to us and our Parisian reunion. Souvenir unlocked. Jog your memory. What? Oh, how cute! That's adorable. I wonder what would happen if she didn't like us enough. She'd be like, fine, leave me. You always know how to make me feel better, Nostalgia. You can do this, Kat. Just think of something simple to say when you see him. Then get him to talk. Guys love to talk about themselves. Oh my god. That's him over there. How do I look? You look perfect, nervous as an old lady's cat. You look perfect. You look wonderful. You really think so? Just go over there and talk to him. You're right. I need to woman up. Go, and remember what I told you. Yes, don't freak out and get him to talk about himself. I really hope this works out for you, Kat. It would do you good to get past the first date with a guy. What about me? I Like, I get that I, like, I'm glad that I psyched her up, but can I go meet up with, um... What's his fucking face now? Oh, Raphael. Best speak of the devil. Miss Princess, I'm waiting inside the restaurant. Please hurry. Is he okay? I better scram. I've left Raphael waiting long enough. Okay, so I guess it's not a bad thing that I left him, like, waiting. If I sound different and if I sound like I'm screaming, it's because I'm listening in on different headphones. Basia de l'Etoile. I don't know how to pronounce it, obviously. What took you so long? I nearly lost a table reservation. But you didn't. Uh-oh, maybe it was a bad idea to make him wait. Right, let's get down to business. I asked you to come to Paris under false pretenses. What? I want to offer you another job of a different kind. What do you mean by different? This job will do justice to your investigative skills. Investigative? What? Uh -huh. And help me crack a dangerous secret. Why is it dangerous? You're telling me this now. Why is it dangerous? Why is this secret so dangerous? Well, it could be dangerous if cracked by the wrong person. I'll explain. Recently, an old love letter was discovered in Paris. Have you ever heard of Heloise de Argentou? I am so sorry, that was really fucked up. She was a remarkable scholar and nun in the 12th century. As a young woman, she entered into a forbidden relationship. I understand that he probably doesn't sound like that. I don't know why I'm making him sound like that. And secretly married the philosopher Pierre Abelard. How romantic. Tell me more. Get to the point, please. Tell me more. He seems to like this story. How did Heloise and Pierre meet? Raphael liked that. Pierre? was Heloise's tutor when she was 17. He fell in love with the superior intellect and beauty. In spite of pro yeah, propriety, in spite of propriety, she couldn't help loving him back. The point is, the couple was separated against their will. Writing enabled them to continue their relationship. But the correspondence was also an act of scholarship. These letters are now considered a jewel of French culture. However, there was one letter that never was found. That was never found. Heloise wrote one last time to Pierre after his death. In what appears to be a eulogy, Heloise revealed a secret. She announced that she had made an incredible discovery. Something both dreadfully good and evil. For this very reason, she spoke about it in veiled terms. And she made sure to bury the letter before her death. How is the couple separated? Failed terms. The letter was buried. Um, how is the couple separated, I guess? Oh, cool. I got a free gift. Lovely. <laughs> Who forced the couple to separate? Their love was discovered when Heloise fell pregnant. The father was furious and sent her to a coffin far away. So, now you know about Heloise and Pierre. 
It's time for us to talk about you. Your mission, if you accept it, is to decipher Heloise's last letter and find her secret. Are you in or are you out? Why choose me for this? Are you sure this is for real? Why choose me for this? What makes you think I'm the right person for the job? Paris is small. I needed an outsider, someone I could trust. Look, I'm ready to pay you whatever you want. If we don't crack this soon, I'm worried someone else will. So what? Halloween was a serious scholar and very religious. She would never have used the word evil in vain. Whatever she discovered could be fatal in the wrong hands. This was such a mistake to make his voice like this, it hurts my throat already. This is a lot to process. Think it over. If you're ready, meet me at the office tomorrow. Okay, I will. Good night, Raphael. Oh, I could have looked around. It is what it is. Oh my god, I'm wearing um, noise canceling headphones, and so like, it's it's really really loud. This has been the weirdest day of my life. I've had a false interview with a Parisian super bitch, then a desperate midnight rendezvous with the boss. What's next? A zombie baguette attack? And as for this job offer, I smell a wild goose chase brewing. Heloise made her supposed discovery a long time ago. What's to say that whatever she discovered still exists? And why do I feel Raphael isn't being straight with me? It's a cover. I'm being played for full. Raphael's a complete nut job. It's a cover. It might just be a cover. I don't know. I have no idea. This is a ruse. Raphael wants me to find something else. Oh, that's not what I thought this would be. If he doesn't want to tell me what it is, it must be money. I'll march into that office tomorrow and accept the job. It'll be so satisfying to see Louise furious. It's worth sticking around Paris just for that. What's more, I could bring Kat in on this. She's sharper than anyone when it comes to French history. If I get in a bind, she'll surely be able to help me out. I just wish she had a little more luck in her personal life. Let's hope Paris had good things in store for both of us. This is nice. How romantic. I love it. Splendid. Let's go home. This is an interesting storyline so far. I remember playing a little bit, but I think, um, home. I think at that point I made the choice to go to the interview first, and Kat was really freaking pissed at me. I'm back. Anyone home? Nostalgia. You'll never guess what happened. You found a cure for Tasmanian herpes? What? <laughs> no, silly. I spent the entire evening with Tristan. Tristan? What kind of a name is that? Uh, Tristan is a lovely name. It's a great name. Beautiful, dark, poetic. Just like him. He ditched his friends to talk to me. He is so romantic. Wow, real charmer. He is the one nostalgia. He's my soulmate. How can you tell? Are you high? I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. No. Oh. That's great news, Kat. I couldn't be happier for you. I knew you'd get it. Oh, I'm so happy. I could fly. So, what's the plan now? Are you going to go see him again? Yes, he's going to call me to meet up soon. He said he's never met a girl like me. I'm different. Yikes, that's a red flag. Just the least original seduction ploy in the world. Yep. I'm afraid Kat's about to get a rude awakening. But hey, how did your interview go? You mean the one that you forced me to be late to? Because otherwise you'd be pissed at me? Amazing. I got a secret miss mission. Missing. I don't know how to talk. It's fine. Seriously? Tell me all about it. I want to know everything. Uh, my lips are sealed. Of course, you're my bestie. Mm, let's tell her. It's probably a bad decision, but whatever. I shouldn't, but I can't keep a secret from you, Kat. <laughs> I don't know 
know why. I feel like I can't even trust my friend. Oh, you're so sweet, Nostalgia. I'm working on a medieval mystery. I don't know all the particulars yet, but I'm excited. Well, you know where to find me if you ever need help. That's true. She's a history person. So you know what? Maybe I'm glad that we told her the truth. It's been a big day. It's time for me to get my beauty sleep. Sleep well and see you in the morning, Rumi. Phew, I think that's enough emotion for today. I better hit the hay, too. I have to be up bright and early. Hmm, if this secret mission thing does work out, what should I tell people? I can't tell them the truth. I'm a culture columnist. I'm Raphael's new girlfriend. I'm a secret agent. I'm an American tourist. Um, culture columnist, I guess. Well, I'm out of energy, so I guess we'll figure that out. When next time we return? When next time we return? Alright, bye!